All right guys, so if you've been following the news in amateur radio, you know that we are supposed to run exposure calculations and there's a link in the description to a calculator that the ARRL has for just how to do that. A couple of years ago, I did a test of cooking hot dogs with an antenna and I used a mag loop. I thought that would be the best way to go. After a lengthy after chat last night, uh, we decided collectively, the collective we, decided that I, I would set up a six meter vertical antenna and lash hot dogs to it at various points along its length. That might give us a good example of RF cooking, maybe. So let's set that up and yeah, I'm well free of exposure limits, well free of anything dangerous in transmitting. The hot dogs, maybe not. But I did my calculations and if we're running at 50.323 or somewhere around there, 313 megahertz, at 1300 watts with a vertical antenna, we need to be about five feet in a controlled environment and 11, 12 feet when it's uh, uncontrolled. I'm gonna call this uncontrolled, although I'm gonna be watching it and making sure nobody is walking by it and I will not transmit if we have anybody within 12 feet of this. I've never actually set this antenna up uh, for six meters. Never done that. So I don't know how much I need. I'm gonna take a real wide antenna plot. So six meters times about three and a half. So quarter wave of 18. This is probably too high. We'll see. It doesn't matter, I'm cooking hot dogs with oh, It's a beautiful thing not having a kinked uh, LMR 400, I'll tell you what. All right, stick pro. Maybe, stick pro. Maybe, there we go. Polarized glasses don't work with this. Oh dang, I just took a guess. <laughs> We're pretty close. All right, let me zoom out here. Oh, okay. Looks like I can get a bit better, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the full power output on the amp. Looks like plenty. Look at that. Ooh, 10 over 9. Somebody's really close. Likely very close is my guess. All right, well, let's not belabor this. we got to get on it. Ugh, big boy amp time. Let's go. We have life. All right, let's rig up some hot dogs. I don't exactly know how we're gonna do this yet, but we'll figure it out. Just add more twist ties, right, until it's all done? That's my guess. There you go. Oh yeah, this is it, this is it right here. Look at that. All right, we're gonna operate. See how it goes. We're gonna watch right here for power output. <laughs> 700 and 800 output, 800 watt output. No, oh, ALC is too high again. It's 800 watt out right now. We're gonna power up in a second. Stepping up the power. Here we go, let's see what happens. Only about a thousand. Oh, steady output power exceeding limits. Oh, it dropped it back down to mid, huh? Steady output power exceeding limits. So what if we dial this back? Probably the antenna, is what I'm guessing. Huh. Okay, well it stopped it back down to mid, so we're only gonna get about 800 watts out, which I think should be fine for testing our hot dogs. It should be okay. 820 watts PEP. <laughs> 
at least out of this. LMR 400 to the antenna, who knows what kind of ground losses we have. Um, it's putting a decent chunk of that out though in the air, that's for sure. Let's see how we're doing on PSK Reporter. See what I'm doing out here? Making hot dogs? Making hot dogs, that's right, I'm making hot dogs. Using the radiation from the center. No, I'm looking. Look at my antenna over there. Don't walk any closer to it. Stay right here. Antenna? Yeah. Or I'm trying to. Is that safe to eat? Uh, it's probably about as safe as eating something out of a microwave. That's it. That's pretty safe. Yeah. All right. I'm not getting any replies. Uh, so let's go check on the hot dogs and see how they're doing. How much power do we have? We got enough power in the battery. So the only thing that I don't have powered right now is the radio. It's running off the uh, internal battery in the Go Box, which was fully charged. Go me. Um, the amp is running off the truck right now, right? That's that's how we're able to do this. So let's go. Let's go take a look. We're not transmitting or anything like that. Let's go take a look at the hot dogs. See if they're warm. They're not warm at all. Nothing. Not even warm. Nothing. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. Not even warm. Nothing. All right, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. Uh, I actually want to get on six meters on my my home base station antenna. We were doing a test for RF exposure, but six meters has opened up wide, and I don't actually want to miss out on that. So make sure if you if you're so inclined, set up a dipole for six meters. It's just nine feet basically in, in total length. There's calculators that I'll link in the description for building one out of parts that you can get at, at a Home Depot. Just links of wire and something plastic that you can kind of connect them to the coax. They make center connectors or, you know, um, antenna feed point connectors with two little leads, screw nuts and whatnot uh, for making a dipole. I'll link to one of those as well. You can get them all over the place or just make your own. Anyway, this is not to take away anything from the requirement to have an exposure calculation done for your shack for the power you're putting out. I will link to that in the description as well. Everyone should be doing that for all the bands that you're operating, the power that you're operating, where your antenna is located, how high up your antenna is, all that stuff. You should do it. With that said, let's go wrap it up and take a look at those hot dogs. All right. Not a bit of warming. Uh, let's take this guy. You might claim that there is actually some RF action going on here. This yeah, this pink, you see that? It, there's actually a pink line, and then some discoloring of white around it. So I'm actually, I'm actually kind of impressed. I, I think it did have some effect. It's not warm at all. But I think there was definitely RF exposure here. So, wow. Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. So, yeah. Don't waste food. I'm actually going to go you know, warm these up and eat them because they're pre-cooked. Everything's fine. That's, that's fascinating. Let's, let's take a look at that one. Yeah. That one, too. Definitely a pronounced pink line on the hot dogs. Hey, guys, do that calculation. Uh, print it out, keep it in your shack, keep it with you, whatever it is. It is important and we don't want people uh, too close to any of our antennas when we're transmitting, so stuff like this is a good thing to do. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. If you found this helpful, or at least interesting, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you later, 73. Hot dog time. <laughs> Looks like this one actually has the most, most RF exposure. <laughs> wild, absolutely wild.